And where do you work? I work at Ghana. Which company, please? Ghana. Which company? I'm a Ghanaian. I work in and Ghana. What's, what's your take home salary? Home. My home, they are destroying you. No, I mean, I mean, how much do you take home every month? Take? Yeah. I didn't take anything from the building. No. They break all. No, no, I'm asking you, I'm asking you that, how much are you paid? They didn't pay me anything before no. breaking where, the building. Where, where do you work exactly? Ghana. Ghana, which company? Ghana company. Which, which company? Me, I don't understand. No. If, you, if you can speak Zamanama, I will understand. It seems like you guys got your business together. Most artists don't usually have their business together until it's too late. What what gave y'all the sense to have your mama? So, Cause y'all hood niggas, man. Y'all smell like loud right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the sound is accepted all around the world. Why? Not too much thoughts. It's, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's not too much. It's not too deep. They had to get in the door. You guys say that everybody's in the field, nobody's in the bleachers. And y'all have all done your own thing, like, individually. But you guys support each other. Like, take off, you have the album coming, the mixtape with... Just wait on it. <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel to qualify for the final? I feel happy. I feel grateful and I feel fulfilled. I'm happy because I never expected it. But God gave it to me. I'm grateful to him. So how are you going to prepare for the final? What will you do now? The final will be a deadly day. It's going to be either with both of us going to die on the line. Because I'm ready to run into the lab because I have a black man blood in me. And African people, we are born great. I'm ready for it. Be careful this time. Every uh, Every Apart from nobody is not there again. Eventually. <laughs> Nobody is not there again, mm -hmm. eventually. <laughs> uh, only God can save me. Don't provoke me to anger, or else you'll be in danger. We bring in the studio this morning one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr. Sure. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good morning. Me. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. You are a transgender. What, 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 what shows that I'm gay? You are a transgender yes, and you're a gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? Now, we're looking at the raging debate. Uh, you're a gay rights activist. Why should someone be gay? You're having a girlfriend. Yes. Do you perform the natural obligations? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sexually active right now. So what are By you doing choice. with this lady? By choice. By choice. Yeah. I've just not, uh, I've chosen not to engage. Doesn't that make you gay? What do you mean doesn't that make me gay? I am, I am male and attracted to a female. So who is gay? Oh, no, I'm afraid that Chris... Russ, did you guys lose this game or did the Jazz win this one? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. ...to come for these Walmart workers. Now, wait a second. No, no, wait. How, how's driving a SEPTA bus in this weather today? Coming up here was extremely bad, but going, going down the roads is much better. Hey, y'all better pay! I don't care if it's still out there! Y'all better pay! Hey, y'all better pay down! What I say? See, the idea was... Look, I, I gotta take the info. The idea was you interview the driver while he's busy, we're gonna sneak on the bus and get a free ride home. Hell 29 is paying for everybody! Yeah! <laughs> Clearly, Lil Wayne answers to no one. Is that an interview that you actually gave with Katie Couric? Is that an interview that I actually gave with Katie Couric? Yeah. What's her name again? <laughs> hey, well, that, that's not the question. What's like, his what's... name? Pete Ross. Huh? Pete Ross. Pete Ross. Yeah. Just, that's a stupid-ass question. You just saw me on there giving an interview with her. Okay. So that was you. 
Did you perform at the Virgin Mobile Music Fest in 2008 with Kanye West? I don't know, but I know I did perform at this badass bitch birthday party recently. She was crazy, stupid thick. Isn't it something that you would remember if your album, The Carter Three, was the biggest selling album of the year in 2008? Isn't it something that I would remember that? Yes. Isn't that a personal opinion type question? Because no, that's why I got that. I mean, because I would be actually answering the question to isn't it something? That's my question. Isn't it something? That you would remember. Isn't it something? That's the question I have to answer, Yana. Go ahead. Isn't it something? You can do the best trying to answer it. <laughs> yeah, it's something out of your ass. That's my answer. It, yeah, it is something out okay. of your ass. Have you ever hired a photographer to photograph an event? Have I ever hired a photographer to photograph an event? Sorry, sir. No, I'm a superstar. People hire them themselves to photograph me. We don't hire them. If I jump somebody, my man gonna jump with me. You All feel right. me? If I rob him, my man gonna rob him. Right. Like, if I wanna smack the shit out of him, my man gonna smack the shit out of him. And if I shoot, my man gonna shoot. And if I gotta die, my man dying with me. Like, that's just how it is. Like, my yeah. people is right for me, no matter what. Nah, and I know that for a fact. It's respectable, man. Ain't no goofy niggas around me. I They're wish, gonna die if I gotta die. I wish somebody would die for me, man. Like, no, nah, facts, facts. Like, it's messed up. Yourself, and what would you like people to know about you? I'm a fun guy. Uh, obviously, I love the game of basketball. Um, I mean, it's just more questions you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself. I just can't give you a whole spiel. I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. Yeah, the glasses, there you go. All right. <laughs> The game, especially when it came to females, like my first time going in, I didn't even think pussy could smell like that. I did not know that. Like, I smelled my finger and it stunk. This shit had me tight because it's like, you don't got enough respect for me to like be clean around me. Like, it's not hard to take a shower, you feel me? Like, if you don't got a shower in your crib, you come to my crib, you feel me? I, I got soap, water, you can take a shower in my crib, we could get sexual. But it's like, you stink. Like, you smell like SeaWorld. Like, the shit is crazy, an aquarium. You don't work at an aquarium, so it's like, there's no excuse for you. Okay, look, I've never in my life tried to really go at you in your suits and stuff. Tonight, I am stressing to you, you take this outfit home and you burn it. We don't want to see this. I know you don't double back with outfits. I've never seen you in an outfit twice, but you take this right here. I don't care if it's Versace, name brand. It costs Saeed. You, I, no, Saeed, I don't care. You take this and you burn it. There's not any part I can keep? No, nothing. So when you get done with this, you should be butt ass naked. This should be this should be burnt. Okay? It's good to see you, like always. In, in the shoes too. Just burn them. Okay? They, just burn it. Don't ask no questions. Just burn the whole the red socks, which the people can't see at home. Take all this, handkerchief, lime thong, all that. Burn it. Okay? Fire cell. Burn it. Right. Gasoline, kerosene, either one. Okay? Tear Ernie, Kenny. Oh my god. He scared the hell out of me, but it brought the fucking best out of me. Yeah. Can you say fucking one? Not really. I would love to fight Tyson Fury over here or in Vegas or anywhere that big pussy wants to fight. Hey, man, I'm going to go home and break my wife's hip. I ain't had sex with her in a while. She's going to feel the pain. And the pleasure. I mean, oh, it's going to be some pleasure mixed in there, but she might be crippled in the morning. So um, if anybody out there want to donate a wheelchair to the right. Save the Miss Thompsons okay. All right, she'll fund, be... <laughs> Listen, well done, congratulations. The way you were supposed to, and, you know, you know, as, as with Kevin being the funny guy, the important thing was to really try and set him up as much as possible, but stay within the confines of your character, and we enjoyed ourselves doing yeah. that. I, yeah, I think it's right. I think I think that there's pressure in the sense that there's a certain level of... Oh, you're going... You're going... Oh, I think there is a certain pressure when you're amongst the type of talent, but then, you know, it's nice to be able to relax because everyone's role is so defined, you know what I mean? Can you ask me a question? Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs>
Wow. Oh, sorry. Wrong show. Just, give me a second. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't think we have an edge in the battle of sexes. I think women are the superior creature. I think women are so much smarter than us. They're, the female brain is bigger than our brain. And so I don't think there's any way we can possibly... God, you smell like... Oh, my God. Turn the cameras on. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we can ever compete. Okay. Uh, Jerry, what do you think made Steve Hold on. concept for... Just the way I want to do the right thing. Can you repeat the question? I didn't hear you. Uh, what do you think made Steve Harvey's book like, good basis for the movie? Uh, what do I think makes Steve Is he going to um, get more camera time? <laughs> the fact that, I just, um, the fact that it's a good basis for a movie because um, it's the stuff that we've all gone through. It's something that happens in relationships every day, and I think everyone can relate to it. It feels good. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, What's your best advice for dealing with high maintenance? Well, well, we know. 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 Well, no, I have not. Will you wear wigs? Maybe. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> they would, I mean, ask any woman if she would choose her car over her children and she'd take the kids any day, whereas I would question a lot of men out there, quite frankly. Tracy, I There's can't believe what I There's a reason that women say. live longer, Mark. Let me tell you. It is because we are stronger yes. and we are happier at the end of the day than most men. And that yes. is factual and you know it. When, when men are married to women who scream like you, they just want to die sooner. You murders. Get back in the kitchen. When you say that you need help, do you think you need to go to therapy? What I need that, help. What kind of help? I need somebody to help me beat my meat. Robert. In any criminal acts, actions were pending against you at the end of 2008. I don't recall any. Do you recall being at all concerned about any criminal actions that may have been pending against you at the end of 2008? I don't recall. Do you recall that in the summer of 2007 you were arrested in New York City following a performance at the Beacon Theater? I don't recall that. Do you recall that police in New York City discovered a 40 caliber pistol on you? on your person? I don't recall that neither. Do you recall that in late 2009 you pleaded guilty to attempted criminal possession of a weapon? I don't recall that neither. Did you uh, serve any time in jail following the end of 2009? I don't know. Didn't you serve about eight months at Rikers Island in 2010? I don't know. Do you remember being arrested in or about January 2008 near Yuma, Arizona? No, I don't remember that. Do you remember being charged in early 2008 with possession of narcotics for sale? possession of dangerous drugs, misconduct involving weapons, and possession of drug paraphernalia? No, I don't recall that. Well, how, how much longer is this line of questioning going to go on? Not much longer. All right, go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't you win I don't know. the award for best rap album of the year in 2008 know. for the Carter Three? I don't know. Uh, Mr. Carter, you have to wait until the, uh, the attorney is finished a asking the question, please. I'm sorry, that's my psychic. I'm sorry. How would you describe your image in the media? How would I describe my image in the media? Yes. I wouldn't describe it. Well, how would you describe it if you had to? I don't have to. Well, what image are you portraying in the media? I don't portray anything. I am who I am. And you guys portray what you get. No, who are, who are you? Who is the real? I am Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. Okay. Do you, uh, 
like to portray yourself as I just answered that and said that I don't like to portray myself as nobody okay I, I, I completely be doing Michael Carter Jr. I don't oh. portray myself as anything an image is self-described well you have to wait till I'm done with the question I don't have to wait to anything honestly I I mean this guy right here may tell me that I have to wait but personally I don't have to do nothing go ahead ask the question thank you your honor do you like you know to can't save you right in the real world that guy right there he can't save you in the real world just so you know what does that mean I don't have to elaborate is that your next question is please, that a, a threat against no, 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 Mr. No, no, can you just ask your next question please he can't save you and what does that mean I was talking to myself which one among you is the greatest of the weed smokers? Who is the most powerful weed smoker among the three of you? We don't smoke weed. 